Alright, you ready? I'm going through. One, yes. two, and... And... Come on, Portal, go! Wibble, 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 jelly on a plate! <laughs> so, I hope you had a hopping day. And while I'm all in the spirit of true blue, I too took... Oh, I took the liberty of helping you with your own celebration. You may have to cross the oceans. Bring your togs. <laughs> Can I have okay. your boots? Because I don't have the togs. <laughs> I've only got Death Strider. Oh no! Okay, well that helps, I guess. Because I didn't, I didn't count being online at the same time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's run around. Oh. Oh, do you want to hop in my boot? Oh it's yeah, we can! <laughs> I forgot about that. Here we go. Onward! Screw it. I don't know how Avalo does that. Like... Boing, boing, boing. I get... I can't <laughs> drive this. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do a kangaroo at your base too. But I was like, no, no, she's bound to come on. I'll just leave it at the flag. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, there's a sign. I was trying to look at it from the side. Right, there's yeah, there's a couple of signs. <laughs> right inside me. Is there like a way up? Uh, no. <laughs> but there's some dirt. <laughs> okay. Some dirt. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Custom Grand pathway and everything. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> this is, hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm going to break this sign. <laughs> oh, I can see my house from here, but that's funny because I couldn't see this from there. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> at first I was going to build it over there, I'm like, no, because if she knocks it down, so I built it over here, so you couldn't, you didn't, ha you didn't have like a reason to knock it down. I don't want to knock it down. <laughs> that's what I mean, because I'm like, if you built it over there, she'd be like, no, I was going to build something here and now I have to tear it down. So I chose the island and I was like, yeah, this one looks pretty good. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to build something under the island, so this is perfect for on top. This is amazing. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. This is the best. <laughs> took me a while to get it. And then failed miserably at recording on my end, but I thought, yeah. This is still awesome, as. This is hopping mad. Hopping mad. Doing, <laughs> doing. <laughs> because I built it, and then I'm like, what the hell am I going to do over here? I'm like, it's just a couple of trees and plants, and that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bouncing into new, <laughs> into what is it? The um, true blue spirit. Yes. True blue. Is it me and you? This is awesome. Is it mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> or a cockatoo? <laughs> is it standing by your mate? <laughs> I don't know the rest. I, I, know, I know the song, but I don't. True blue. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to another episode on the United SMP server. So, this we're in the Nether, obviously, because it's dark, it's dank, it's disgusting, and this used to be a lot worse for ages. Now I've had this big cobblestone hut around the portal. I've had this giant. I had a path like through a giant mountain there with. Look, there's dirt, it's it's not what I want, basically. What I kind of want to do is create a sort of surreal landscape, you know, because Minecraft's so real anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's, like a surreal landscape made out of nether things. So we're going to have like trees made out of soul sand and we'll have, I don't know what we'll use for leaves. We'll work that out. And then like for a river, we'll use lava and rah, rah, rah. So basically... Like a forest, but in the nether. That's my idea. I don't know how well it's going to come to fruition, so I'm not going to do it on camera. Uh, I might time-lapse a few things here and there, maybe. 
But chances are I'm going to be doing a whole lot of picking up, putting down, picking up, putting down. It's not going to be fun to watch. So this is the before and I guess I'll show you the after. Alright, so here we are. Just about to go and have a look at what I've done. Now there's a few things to change, just bear that in mind. But I kind of want a progress update. Um, let's go over here. So pretend you didn't see all that. Da -da -da -da. So we have a um a bridge, right? That's missing a piece of glass because Gus <coughs> don't seem to understand or respect other people's property. It's quite rude if we're being honest. So a bridge over a quite safe lava lake, unless you go up with a what would you call it, like a lava fall? <laughs> Get it? You know, like waterfall, lava fall. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So that's just truck me trying to pretty up the. Uh, here. We've got trees made out of chiseled quartz and soul sand for bark. I've got a little path here which will be continued on elsewhere. Um, this tree here, I'm going to give it, let's see if I can, okay well with my whole two pieces my demonstration isn't going to be that great but so it's kind of going to be a rather big branch like that with a hole in here and this hole's for a minecart because I favour the minecart elevators where you like especially the quickest elevator well upwards apparently addictive G was looking at some command blocks let me just and she's not done that's right that's going to annoy me because I don't know if any of you know, we have a new member, Ahos, so yeah, he's been on for a little bit and we're just trying to get it all working so that he'll drop his play ahead. Anyway, yeah, back to the main thing at hand. Um, so this, obviously without that, I'm happy with, that's missing this, this is the lighting, that they're in rods. I'm quite happy with this, except for that as well, also subject to change. I feel, yeah. Kind of surrealism in Minecraft, if we will. Not perfectly executed, but still a little bit... Yeah, still a little bit different. And this was going to be a placeholder, because I was just going to have that there. And this was going to be like a nice bridge across, and this is going to be like a big hut kind of thing with the elevator there. But plans changed. Um, they're actually building the nether hub all the way up in the roof. Just because it's generally easier to do, there's less gas issues, rah rah rah. And I only realised this after I'd already built this. So, I'm going to be doing things a little different. If we drop down, actually, actually, just show you a little sneak peek of what I've been doing for so damn long. You can probably see it already. I've obviously missed a fair bit. So all underneath, I've gotten rid of a lot of the nether rack. There's still some because of the whole lava lake issue and that's not nice to have rain down on your head. Sorry, just excuse me and boop! So under here, I'm going to have this like pyramid looking structure underneath and then have supports from each side down there. I think it looks okay. I'm not I'm not completely 100% sold on it, but I like it 20 times more than this whole thing that I'm rocking right now with the yeah. The nether rack and the floating island thing. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have yet another jump cut cuz today's episode's all about progress, guys. In case you haven't picked that theme, that's what it's about. Another jump cut, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Yo, so this is more... Ooh, I almost hit that pigment. That wouldn't have been nice. This is more or less what it's going to look like. Now, I'm a bit at... I'm a bit confused of what I want. So, when I did this in the creative world, and let me tell you, I came up with a lot of designs before this one. This has taken a ridiculous amount of time. But 
when I did it in the creative world, back to the point, I only had one layer there. I forgot about the river of lava that I had in there. Now, in order to have that river of lava, I had to bring the blocks down, the nether brick down quite a bit. So this here is a lot taller in my other world. So a few things that happens now, since it's shorter, it looks like it supports further out because, oh, let's just reply to I have, I do, uh, it, how much, how much do you need, any specific, we'll actually go check that out in a second, okay, but yes, yeah, so it's thicker, so it looks a bit more supported around there. This is thicker, which kind of makes it look a lot more supported than just having the one, which is it's looking really odd. Now, in my creative world, what I've done is kind of similar to this from the corners in, but only three. So, like, it'd go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Um, so, I don't know, it's... I think that would look too busy, honestly. Just just having a look at it. This is going to go, by the way. And another thing that I'm really, really struggling with is how to cover it so that ghasts don't become a pest. You know, it's... They're already becoming a pest, basically, and... I'm scared to do like just a big glass square, like a tank looking thing because I don't feel it's big enough, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe when we make this tree a lot bigger to match the trunk and our little elevator there, I could have another look at it. But if any of you guys have any ideas on how to cover this and things like that, feel free to let me know, you could tweet them at me nice little plug right there yes you can tweet me you can leave them in the comments um you can tweet united if you want so any of those will work or any suggestions as well it doesn't just have to be the top thing and now let me go grab the glass and we'll just have a quick look at what they've done oh, also before we go i just built this temporary ugly little thing because I'm, I'm always running out of food and I've been doing a lot of AFKing. Obviously this was built really recent because there's nothing in there. So yeah, I thought I would build that and get food at the same time. Woo! So here we are, this is it. Um, we're just going to drop off some glass here. So I have, sorry. So we just... It's a fair bit, granted, but check it out. So, this is how much Addictive G and AHOS have been digging. It's a ridiculous amount of digging. Um, but this is looking really cool so far. It's, oh, sweet. Look, I helped out. Yay! Um, I'm loving the pattern and everything. I think this looks so cool. Now, for anyone who doesn't know about AHOS, he's a ridiculously talented builder so if you've got a chance go and check him out he actually just released his first uh, united video which he built like his starter house just in the one episode mind you which looks about five times better than the house i worked on like that took me a week so <laughs> he's also on the vintage beef build team so he's a good little kid to have around very lovely. Nice I met you. Nice I met you. Glad I met you, Ahos. Nice to meet you. Both of those in the one. Brilliant. So I'm going to leave it here. Sorry it was a short one. It just took so long. All the digging, which wasn't that much. I need to repair my pick. Oh no! Let's get rid of the fire. The damage has probably already been done. Poor Aos. <laughs> I feel you, man. I did the exact same thing. 
But yeah, sorry it's been a short one. Um, did some digging, a lot of digging, because it, it was all there and there was another mountain there. I did a lot of AFKing, because I didn't have that much nether brick. So, in case anyone doesn't know, it takes four smelted nether rack to make one nether brick. And I went through a lot. There's still a lot in my inventory, just to give you an indication of how much I have K'd. Brilliant. So, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, anything, leave a comment, do whatever you like. It's your life. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!